So how long has it been since the car has been down? I haven't raced it since 2012. I haven't been on the track. Um, I think uh, since 2012 it's set for three years and I think uh, I think last year we might have went to a cruising or two with yeah. it. That's, that's it. I'm yeah, I think we saw you out of there at that drive-in yeah. or whatever. What what made you decide to stop and hang it up for a while? Uh, I just can't stand bracket racing. Uh, <laughs> it's it's boring. Um, there's and, no uh, no I mean, arguing I can that. Stand you know so many cruise ins, uh, and as far as just going to the park lot, it's dead unless you want to, you know, go look at a bunch of you know Hondas, and that's just not my gig. So <laughs> uh, I just parked it and. Uh, I was, <coughs> I was considering on selling it. Nothing going on around here? <coughs> nope. Until uh, I went to Pacemakers a couple weeks ago, and that kind of, that got me definitely interested in getting my car back out. Some cool things going on over there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was pretty neat. I always liked uh, heads up stuff. Um, I don't know, my stuff ain't fast enough to run it, but, I, you know, I like to be a part of that thing, so. Yeah. At least grudge race, go out there and have a good time. Yeah, I like, uh, I like racing my friends and right. And uh, that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's how you get faster too. Grudge racing your friends and yeah. Uh, little by little, you end up running I've been a lot quicker. Steve Johnson for since I was four years old and something. So <laughs> and uh, and the saga continues. Yeah, we'll have to get his car back out there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think I finally got it back together so we could do that. Yeah. gets to checker and yeah that, that's why i'm interested in that uh, that's how it started that's how it should yeah, be yeah that's how it should be you know you you know you qualify you're in your spot and and you know race it out That's a pretty good story. He came, he came up here. <laughs> it was setting out where your truck was, and uh, I, you know, I've been at it with this guy my whole life. Over, you know, whether it was go karts or, uh, you know, dirt bikes or whatever. So I come walking out of the house, and he, uh, he was walking around the block. So um, he asked me if the car was street legal, and I said, it's got tags and mufflers on it, so I, I guess according to the state it does. I, I don't know what, what you want. Well, he said it's too fucking loud. I said, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I, I said, I ain't going to quiet it down just, you know, because you know, I, I would come cruising by your house a couple times a week just to appease you. So he started F-bombing me and blah, 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 and calling me a fucking dick and blah. So... I told him, I said, uh, I said, you probably should keep on walking before I knock your teeth out, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Every time I drive past your fucking house. So I waited, I don't know, 10 minutes, and he was down here on the straightaway. Right, It, it was time perfect. I got in the car, went around, he was standing right by his mailbox. So I just stuck it in second and stuck it on the rev limiter and did my thing. And on the way back, I did it. And every time I left here, <laughs> I'd stop in front of his house and, and let her rip. And uh, 
about three weeks of that. He came, he came back up here, and he caught me outside. He said, look, man, I'm sorry. Just don't do that no more. I'm like, are we good? He's like, yeah. I said, well, then just, just keep your fucking trap shut, because you know how I am. I will win. <laughs> So he's never said another word about my black car. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome.